Hey guys, I'm Kelsey. And I'm Eric. And this is our fan tour. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the outside of our van and then Kelsey's gonna give you a tour of the inside of the van. So this is a brand new 2020 Ford Transit high roof with the extended long body. Um, and this one actually came with a cargo door window, which is really nice. We got this one tinted just for a little bit more privacy. So if you follow me around this way, this is a bunk window here from CRL, and uh, we got one on each side, which is really awesome. We made sure to line it up with the height of the bed so that from the bed, we can kind of see out the window nicely, like wherever we are parked. So this is our plug here, it's from Park Power. On this uh, van, we actually got six batteries. So everything in our van does run off electric, um, the stove, the fridge. We did decided not to go with propane. It's a little bit more expensive, but we just didn't wanna have to deal with um, filling up propane on the road and worrying about propane sensors or leaks or anything like that. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, six batteries actually gives us a lot of power and it's tapped into the engine. So the engine does charge those batteries when we're driving. You wanna follow me around this way. We did get a trailer hitch installed because for our needs, we still might need a trailer, especially if we're playing like a bigger show. We need to bring, bring more equipment with us. So I will show you guys the garage too. We have our outdoor shower and there is a water heater in this van, so that's awesome. Um, this right now, we are gonna have a padlock on here, but we wanted to make sure that the garage is lockable because you know, if someone does try to break into the van, we have a lot of valuable stuff under here. They'd still have to break in through this as well because um, you can't get to it from the other side. There still is a fair amount of storage space. As you can see, we can fit pretty much all of our production gear in there and there's still actually more storage space. So we're still working on some storage solutions. Yeah, we think we, think we will end up painting this white too, just to match everything else. So follow me around on this side. Now we have our next bunk window here. Uh, we actually also got this one installed here. So we wanted light to come into the van because we didn't want to feel claustrophobic and, and uh, we wanted to have enough natural light in there to brighten it up. Otherwise it can get pretty dark in there. This is a CR Lawrence window as well. It's got the T vent, which is nice. Also because we have the max air fans installed in the roof, we have two of them. It actually works really well with the window. So if you, you can set them to a number of different settings and power, but if you set them to pushing air out of the van at the same time, it actually draws air in from the windows when you open them up. So it creates this really awesome like breeze going through the van, it's pretty sweet. And then this ladder is from Illuminous and we love it, it's great. But probably one of the coolest features of our van specifically is the roof rack. Kelsey and I wanted to travel all over North America performing for people during COVID. And your typical roof rack from say Illuminous, which they work great, but you're not supposed to be on them for very long. They aren't meant to withstand two people hanging out up there for too long. So this one actually had to be custom made. It's an aluminum frame, but then they got a carbon fiber grate put on there. So it can actually withstand probably six to 800 pounds. And there is also a railing system that we got made as well. So when we're up there, it doesn't feel like we're too unsteady or it's too unsafe. So it's been really, really great for performing on top of the van. Another thing that we did get installed was LED lights here. As you can see, those go all the way around the perimeter and they're actually super bright. Um, one of the things we thought, well, a major worry for van lifers can be, what if somebody breaks into your van, right? What if somebody breaks into your van while you're inside the van? So one of the first things we can do is if somebody's trying to break into the van and all the windows are blacked out, we have a switch inside where we can just turn on all of the lights and it lights up the whole perimeter, um, probably for 30 yards all the way around the van. So if someone is trying to break in and then all of a sudden everything lights up, that might spook them. And then if you know if they continue trying to break in, our dog will probably bark at them and then you know, odds are if somebody knows somebody's inside the vehicle, they're probably not gonna mess with that. I think that is it for the outside. I'm gonna let Kelsey take you guys on the more exciting tour of the inside. Now that Eric is done showing you the outside of the van, I have the privilege to show you the inside. 
So here it is. I am seriously obsessed with our brand new home. I love it so much. I never thought that I would say that about living in a van, but here I am saying it. One of my favorite things about this van, and I know it's silly and it's little, but I just love it, is the pull-out table. So this is our coffee table. Eric and I are huge coffee drinkers, and when we're going around and traveling and when we have time to take a breath, especially in the mornings, we're gonna be using this coffee table a lot, sitting here and just looking out at wherever we are in nature, wherever it is. We're super excited about our coffee table. So one of the things I wanna show you is our bench. It is four feet long and it is also storage. So we put our shoes, I can only have three pair of shoes by the way. We put our clothes and our laptops and our computer in. It's actually a ton of storage, which is really good for us because we have a lot of things to bring on the road. Another thing that it acts as is obviously a sitting place. So we can have dinner here, we could do our work here, and we also have a table to accommodate that. So this table is also four feet long, like the bench is four feet long. And Eric and I can sit comfortably, eat our food, do our work. Eric actually did some of his vocal recordings at this table and it worked amazingly. So we love the butcher block table that also matches our countertop. And it can hold up to about 200 pounds, which is very impressive. Another thing that we're really excited about is our Norcold fridge. It fits actually a decent amount of food. And we also have a freezer up here that you just pull down. We have some meat. Actually, one of the shows that we played, the people were sheep farmers and they gave us some gyro, which is pretty cool. And then also my uncle gave us some freshly shot elk. So yeah, the storage in here is actually surprisingly really great. So one thing that I really love is our Blanco white sink. When we were designing this place, I really wanted it to feel like it was our home and it was our creation and it just looked really pretty. And so, you know, we were talking about a silver sink, we were talking about a bronze sink and we just really liked how the white sink looked. So we decided to go with that. It's really deep. Say if we're on the road and we don't have time to get Luna grooming, we could bath her in here and it would be awesome. So some of you might be wondering what kind of countertop we have and it is a butcher block countertop. And when we were building this, we asked True North Custom Campers to save this piece so that we could use it as a cutting board. But also if we need more space when we're cooking or doing whatever, we can just slide it in over the sink really easily and it fits in perfectly. So say if we need more counter space, we have it. I love the faucet because it is just so pretty. I love all the champagne bronze door handles that we have here. The sink, it's just the little things that make it feel like your home. Moving on to the bed. So one thing that we wanted was a queen size bed because we have Eric, myself and our dog Luna to sleep in here and we didn't want to go through all the fussing of cutting the mattress to try and make it fit. So what we did was we got True North Custom Campers to build a little side slot here and that's where we put our socks and underwear. Eric has the back one, I have the front one. And it's actually pretty deep and it's a lot of space for those things. We wanted this end piece because when we're driving we didn't want the mattress to like go onto the counter or just fall forward or anything like that. And then we also just kind of wanted to have a little bit of separation between the bedroom and the kitchen, at least visually. We really love the cabinets here. We honestly love everything about this van. So you're gonna hear me say we love this and this and this a lot. This is our food, dry food cabinet. This is our toiletries and our coffee. And the back two cabinets are our clothes. I have the front one, Eric has the back one. And um, of course, obviously, these cabinets right here are just for our cutlery and our plates and our pots and our pans. And then this is just, you know, where we put our garbage and our towels. So these are our max air fans and they have 10 different speeds and they either push air in or push air out. So it's really nice on a hot day because it acts like AC. So all I have to do is click the little clicker 
and it turns on. You can already start feeling some air, which is really nice. Over here is also where we have our light switches and our water pump and our water heater, and this is our inverter. And our inverter we use when we have to use our stove and our water heater. Our controls down here, which this is for our outdoor lights, which Eric was showing you when he was showing you the outside of the van. This is for our S-Bar heater, which is, by the way, amazing. We played a show a couple days ago and it was so cold. And so what we did was we just turned on the heater, cranked it up to like 30 degrees in here. And there's the little vent that pushes the hot air in and it connects to the gas tank actually. So that's how it runs. Um, this is also just for our batteries to let us know how much voltage we have. When we were first designing the van, we really wanted it to look like a cabin because Eric and I have always said that we've wanted to live in a log cabin. And so we thought that we would put that inside of our first home. So what we did was we really liked the look of the cedar wood because it was just light and we felt like if we got a darker wood, it would make the inside of here feel really small. So this actually really brightens up the space. We went with the six inch because we just really liked the look of it. It's just, you know, whenever we show people this van, they're always like, man, the cedar is so great. And it also smells good in here, which is awesome. And when we were building the cabinets, because of the Ford Transit slide down there's a little angle here. Um, they couldn't put another cabinet here. So what they did was they just built another little shelf that we could put Henry R. Plant on, some of my hippie crystals, and my camera, which is the coolest camera we have, by the way, and have a little display of our personality on this shelf. Also a little boom box is right here. Um, another thing that's really cool is we wanted a lot of outlets because Eric obviously is on his computer a lot. We have our iPads, you know, we're always on our phones, so we're constantly charging them. So we have a couple plugins at the back here, right where we can literally plug in our phones at night, set our phones on the window shelves and plug in our phones and make sure it's charged in the morning. We also have reading lights at the back, which is really great for just, you know, when you want it to be like, these lights are really bright at night. These pot lights are really bright, which is great. Um, but not when you're kind of like getting ready for bed. You can turn one of these reading lights on and it sets the perfect mood. So that's awesome as well. Thank you guys so much for watching our van tour. And make sure to subscribe below and comment what you like about the van or what you would do differently if you build your own van. And make sure to follow us on social media at Love on the Road Official. I hope you enjoyed that content. Um, if you hadn't noticed, we do have an ebook that we sell, uh, and the link is just in the description. Uh, it contains 160 pages crammed full of practical advice, walkthrough information, electronic schematics, and part lists, which will make your job a lot easier for doing a van conversion and it will save you time and money. Also, we've created special videos for the ebook which enable you to see walkthroughs for how to do loads of things in the van conversion. So that's for water systems, for your electrics, for how to do simple woodwork joints that anyone can do. And I really believe that anyone, regardless of their experience, can make a half decent van conversion. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our content and we put a lot of effort to make it interesting, informative and find those cool projects to feature on our channel. Consider subscribing, leave a comment and we'll see you next week.